Hello, in this video I'm going to be looking at four different questions using the chain rule uh, and so I'll timestamp each question below so you can kind of skip through if a question looks too easy or you just don't want to do that question you can easily skip to the next one. So let's start off with the first question where we have y equaling x to the power of 4 plus 3 all to the power of 5 and obviously we want to find dy by dx and we're going to be using the chain rule. So in this example I'm going to let u equal x to the power of 4 plus 3 so then y is going to now be equal to u to the power of 5. And so I'm going to find du by dx, which is going to be equal to 4x cubed. And then we're going to find dy by du, which is going to be equal to 5u to the power of 4. And then to find our derivative, dy by dx, we're just going to multiply these two things together. So we get that dy by dx is going to be equal to 4x cubed multiplied by 5 well, u is just equal to x to the power of 4 plus 3. So 5x to the power of 4 plus 3 all to the power of 4. And we can actually simplify this a tiny bit and write it as 20x cubed multiplied by x to the power of 4 plus 3 all to the power of 4. And that's our derivative. Let's look at question 2. So we've got y equals e to the power of the square root of x plus 3. And so in this example, my u is going to be equal to the square root of x plus 3, which we could actually write as u equals x to the power of a half plus 3. And our y is now going to be equal to e to the u. And so again, we're going to take the derivative of u with respect to x, and we get 1 half x to the negative half, which is the same as 1 over 2 square root x. And then we're going to find dy by du, which is just going to be equal to e to the u. And again, multiplying these two things together, we get that dy by dx is equal to, well, e to the u, so e to the power of square root x plus 3, multiplied by 1 over 2 root x. And this is actually exactly the same as e to the power of uh, the square root of x plus 3 over 2 root x. <clears throat> so let's look at question 3. And we have y equals the natural log of 4x cubed minus 3. So to find dy by dx, u is going to be equal to 4x cubed minus 3, and y is going to be equal to the natural log of u. So again, we're going to find du by dx first. So du by dx is equal to 12x squared, and dy by du, well, the natural log, uh, or the derivative of the natural log of, say, u, is just going to be 1 over u. And I have a video explaining why that is if you wanted to go and see that. And so again, to find dy by dx, we just multiply these together, like in literally every other example, and we get dy by dx is equal to 12x squared over u, and u is just 4x cubed minus 3. And now the final example, we have y equals 2 over the square root of x plus 3. And so what I'm going to do is let u equal x plus 3. And so now we have y equaling 2 over the square root of u, which is actually equal to 2 multiplied by u to the power of a negative half, okay? And so du by dx is just going to be equal to 1. And so dy by du is going to be equal to, well, we times by the power, so we're going to get negative 1 multiplied by u to the power of negative 3 over 2. And so multipl or multiplying these two things together, we're going to get dy by dx is equal to negative u, which is x plus 3, so negative x plus 3 to the power of negative 3 over 2, which if you wanted to, you could write this as negative 1 over, and you could write the square root of x plus 3, and that's all cubed. Or you could write it x plus 3 all cubed, and then the square root of that. It's up to you. So that's it for this video. Hopefully it was useful to see some worked examples. If it was, like the video, subscribe, share it, and check out all of the uh, other math tutorials I have on my channel. And thanks for watching.